Hello everybody. In this series, we'll be delving deeper into how we use our digital vices in the digital age. It is so important to build mindful awareness of our digital codependencies. We've never been more codependent and obsessed with being connected using everything digital. So we hope these tools give you awareness to help you understand how to digital detox, but also give you control of how you're being codependent when it comes to your digital technologies. To help you navigate your digital landscape, our first toolkit is focused on taking advantage of your phone's features and app blockers. We don't recognize how much time we give away to the way we use our applications on our phone, especially when it comes to messaging and social media. So we advise you to use your features to tell you how much time you're using when it comes to screen time, how much time you're committing to each app and becoming aware of your own personal statistics. You can also use special app blockers that will block opening certain applications on your phone to help you become more aware of which apps you're more addicted to compared to others. Now this can be extremely useful to help you become more aware of how you're giving away your time and energy to your phone and how much time you're also wasting. So pay attention to your data, use your app features, pay attention to your screen time and make the most out of using these applications to help you become aware of how much time and energy you're really spending on your phone. Our second toolkit is focused on building tech-free zones in the workspace and in your home. We all know how annoying it is when people are using their phones when you want their attention. So be very intentional about which spaces in your home, in your home office, and in your workspace can be tech-free. For example, eating times to allow you to build more intimacy and connect more with your colleagues, but also around the dinner table at home where you can create a rule that encourages everyone to not bring their devices to the table to avoid distractions. This seems like a very simple thing to do, but it's difficult in practice when people are so codependent on their phones and their laptops as an extension of themselves. I would encourage you to make sure that you have tech-free zones where no laptops, iPads, or phones, or any digital devices are allowed, both in your workspace and in your personal spaces, and see how that helps you build connectivity in a different way when you're intentional about it. Now our third toolkit is all about digital detoxing, which involves being intentional about when you check your phone. I personally try and control this by checking my phone at 11 a.m. and then 4 p.m. and in the evenings giving myself more free time to browse if I want to or connect with people through my messaging apps. But I have to admit that this can sometimes be very difficult. By having schedules of when you check in on your phone will give you more discipline in how you're relating to your devices. But obviously sometimes we have to spend more time than necessary due to other obligations. So I encourage you to try and see if you can implement a routine with your timings of when you check your devices and when you use them outside of the work week if possible, because we understand that sometimes you need to be connected more than usual. But another thing that can be very valuable is to create a digital detox challenge on the weekend where you disconnect for half a day or even a full day to give yourself time to connect and be intimate with yourself and your loved ones, spend more time doing hobbies, but spending time outdoors, spending time in nature, and allowing yourself to connect more outside of the digital world. As we wrap up, please remember that mindful tech use is all about finding a balance and applying these tools in ways that fit with your routine and your lifestyle. It won't be a one fits all method or tool for everybody. So please experiment with this as you want and share your journey with us in the comments below. If you want access to more content, please tune into Cognifit's corporate wellbeing program and see what our platform can offer you with regards to more series, more toolkits and more techniques to help you achieve the ultimate wellbeing when it comes to work-life balance. Thank you for tuning in with us today and I'll see you very soon.